Uh, thanks, Matt. Hello, everyone. I'm Jack Henderson, Director of Research and Development at Radical Exchange. Um, I've been looking forward to this weekend for a while. It's, it's really a remarkable group, as, as Matt said. Um, first, I just want to thank all of the other co-hosts today, in addition to Matt, Margaret, Jane. Uh, we have uh, Indy Johar, uh, Paula Berman, Alex Becker, Emily Russell. Uh, incredibly grateful to, to all of you for your work on this. Incredibly grateful to be in collaboration with each of you. Um, I also want to thank Jennifer Holmes and Kalia Young for all of the heavy lifting and magic behind the scenes to make this event happen. I'm really grateful to you both. Uh, and I want to thank our sponsors, Omidyar Network and Rockefeller Foundation. Um, they're not just providing the support that makes all of this possible, uh, but they're also our partners. Uh, there are people with experience in what we're trying to do here, um, in field building, and in supporting emergent networks of people and organizations who are focused on big, ambitious, shared projects of social change. Um, so the goal of the conference, um, uh, as we've written in our newsletters, is to seed a coalition of loosely aligned actors building a new paradigm for property and ownership in the 21st century. Um, now, we don't have a perfect picture of what that new paradigm should be. Uh, we, were, we very much want to keep our ideas about that open and plural. Um, you know, as Matt said, I think everyone in this room may agree that the property rights regime that we've inherited, um, you know, isn't working for the world that we live in. But I think you'll hear a lot of different ideas today and over the course of this conference about the problems, diagnosis, and solutions, and those are what we're here to work out together. Um, and we've, we've really tried as, as much as possible to bring together the many different threads of work that we think are necessary in order to see the fabric of this new coalition. Um, all of you in this room are already working on aspects of this um, in, in different ways, and uh, I'd briefly like to highlight a few of those different threads. Um, as well as a couple other uh, important dimensions of the people in this room that I think it's helpful for us all to have a sense of. So uh, first, just in terms of geography and sector, um, about half of you are local to the Bay Area, and about a sixth of you are international. Um, over half of you operate various kinds of civic nonprofits. Another 20% are academics, and then there's about 10% each of you um, in business, philanthropy, and in art and culture. Um, and we also have these four themes that we think will help loosely organize the conference. Those are land, intellectual property, labor, and finance. And about half of you, I would say, are in various ways focused on the ownership of land. Um, so we have the leaders of several um, uh, community land trusts and other um, housing cooperatives in the Bay Area. We have people, uh, we have real estate developers, people who are working on urban wealth funds. We have an amazing group of uh, thinkers and practitioners around rights of nature and even land that owns itself. Um, another 30% of you are broadly focused on intellectual property. Uh, we have an incredibly capable group of technologists who are focused on the question of who owns data and the fruits of artificial intelligence. There are leaders in the field of patent law, uh, rethinking how to reward creativity and invention. Um, and we have an amazing group of artists and curators from San Francisco's gray area, the Serpentine in London, and um, others in a new community around uh, cultural technology, which is calling itself Beyond Cultures of Ownership. Um, and then about, there's another 10% each uh, of you who are focused on labor or finance. So we have some um, amazing leaders in labor organizing, people who are thinking about uh, labor and contracted labor as property and, and how that shifts, how we're thinking about labor issues. Um, and in finance, we have people who are working on multi-currency systems in Web3, uh, people who are thinking about the ownership of corporations and corporate shares. And these are just a few slices, really just a fraction of everything that is actually in this room. Um, and it's just really a remarkable, extraordinary group here, and I hope we can make the most of our time together. Um, so I'll quickly run through the plan for the next two and a half days we have together. 
So today we will take some, we'll create space um, to work with the big picture, so the problems, possibilities, and ideas around what and how we own. Um, tomorrow we hope to gently refocus on the politics of change, so concrete strategies and projects that groups of us can collaborate on together in the months and years ahead. And then on Sunday, for those who can stick around, um, we hope to take breath and um, take time to kind of make sense of everything that's been discussed over these couple of days and um, hopefully distill that into outcomes and next steps. An, an amazing uh, outcome of this convening would be if really just a handful, small handful of um, inspiring and sustainable um, initiatives uh, form during our time together. And um, as, as we've said, there's a, a, it's really a, a great group, so please keep an open mind and, um, and um, you know, be prepared to help make this happen. Um, so with that, a uh, couple logistical items, bathrooms through the hall, the agenda's over there on the poster. Um, you can also find it on our webpage on Notion. Um, if you don't have the Notion app, please download it on your phone or, or um, have it on your computer. Um, and if there's any, any, if you have any suggestions about things that we can do better, please raise them to me or any one of the other many co-hosts today. Um, and with that, I'll introduce uh, G. Kim, uh, who will be the host of this morning's talks and conversations. So G. Kim is a senior advisor for strategy at the Roosevelt Institute. Um, he's an expert on the power of worldviews and social paradigms, and really how to take good ideas and turn them into um, collective action and, and social movement. So really a, a pleasure and a privilege to uh, be collaborating with him on this project. And uh, please welcome me, uh, join me in welcoming G. Uh, thanks, Jack. And I'm also a big fan of natural light. So if you get a chance, open some curtains, some shades. Um, I'm G. Kim, as I mentioned, uh, as Jack mentioned. And I've had the privilege of working with this group for the last few months, and I'll be your MC for the next uh, few mornings. So just a couple housekeeping things. First, um, this is a train whistle. I will use it as needed. If you hear the sound, uh, it mean, does not mean that a train is coming, but it does mean that something is coming that requires your attention. So that's first. Um, second, uh, take breaks as you need. We don't have a ton of breaks programmed in, but uh, I trust that you can listen to your body, something I taught my six-year-old, um, and that you can uh, get caffeine and, and, and take care of your body as needed. So um, as a reminder, our objective on this first day is what I loved the um, opening spe um, uh, speaker, invocation around dreaming of possibility. Uh, and I don't think there are any better uh, folks to open up this dreaming of possibility session than the principals of the project, Margaret Levy, uh, Matt Pruitt, and Indy Johar. Uh, let me just briefly say, in case you don't know um, uh, these three, uh, Margaret is a professor of political science at Stanford University. She has an incredibly storied career and track record on many topics, including leading a team of researchers on the transformation of property rights. Their recent writing, uh, Desderada, took me six months to learn how to pronounce that, serves in anger for this convening. Um, Matt Pruitt is the president of Radical Exchange Foundation, uh, who spoke a little earlier, a nonprofit dedicated to improving the basic institutions in markets and democracy. He is also an attorney, writer, and programmer, and has written extensively on alternative property and ownership systems. And finally, Indy, who will be sharing uh, a prepared uh, video from since he's in flight now, is an architect by training and a maker by practice. He's an explor explorative practitioner in the means of system change and the dark matter design of civic infrastructure, finance, outcomes, and governments. governance. He's the director of Dark Matter Laboratories. So please welcome Margaret and Matt. <laughs> 